Hey, I just was reminded, I was on my um, second call today with a client, and both calls just really inspired me just to leave this quick message. And that is, do not wait. Do not wait for the uh, fire alarm, so to speak, goes off to tell you there's a fire before you start investing in understanding what relationships are. Because we get in relationships, we have no idea really except the reference points of what we've seen either modeled for us in our families or in our parents, our uh, friends' appearance. If we were close to another family as we were growing up, maybe aunts and uncles, we model what we see. We're also influenced by the media that we're subjected to from the time that we're really little. And the truth is, happily ever after is totally available. It is available. It just looks different than what you think it is. It shows up differently for most everybody, happily ever after. Because happily ever after is, what is your happily ever after? And then, what skills have you acquired to ensure that you will have a happily ever after? Because a happily ever after doesn't just happen. It's intentional because gravity, we live in a universe of gravity that pulls everything down. And so if we just put our, our relationship on automatic, which I'm sure it can go on automatic for short, brief periods of time, times of heavy workload or times of, uh, you know, uh, illness or you're caring for someone or there's a new baby or, you know, I did a post this week, right? And a lot of people responded to it. And it was that if you know someone who's a newer parent or it doesn't even mean it's their first baby, it could be their second or third baby. But let's face it, babies babies require us to put things on pause or put things on hold and, 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 and attend to them and their needs. Who can, how, um, can you step in? And can you be aware that this is going on with a new child in your network of, of family and friends and can you step in and do something so that the parents can have some time away for just them we can put things on automatic for short periods of time but automatic is not an operating basis that will get you to happily ever after there are skills there are there's a tool trunk or a toolkit that you really need to have in navigating relationships, specifically partner and family and child parent relationships. Those tend to be the ones, I mean, I have worked with um, owners of companies that have had me go in and talk on and work with their management on like, you know, like advancing their people skills so that the culture of the business can rise. And it's always so rewarding to do that because I could impact a lot of lives because they'll take those skills that they use and they'll take them home. But the business does better because everything runs on relationships. But how many people really invest in their own relationship at home? You know, instead of instead of investing in personal development to help you advance in a job or a career, how about diving into some personal development that helps you expand not only your understanding of other people, but your understanding of yourself. Because a lot of times our triggers get in the way of our happiness and then other people become the fallout of those triggers so learning what a trigger is understanding how that shows up for you as an individual and these are all things that i cover on um, courses that i run and really this isn't this was not meant to be a you know um a call to action but honestly if you're hearing this video and it resonates with you that you have been doing some work and then you stopped and you need to get back into doing the work because you really do want to advance to a higher level of relationship. I, I, was, um, I was saying I was on a call with two clients today. I had to kind of fit one in on a last minute basis and, and it was good that we spoke. But the one before that, everything that's going on there 
was easily prevented. It was easily prevented with just small, consistent application of better handling, better people skills, better understanding of relationships, better understanding of ourselves, showing up better as our best selves. Why do we keep our best self? Why do we put on this, this persona of the best version of us and take it out of our home into the world outside and then come home and bring our home a different persona? How about just live authentically? How about just have the skills? You don't even have to put a persona on or take one off when you come home. Just literally live and enjoy and have the understanding or have the resources or have the lifeline to someone who can help you and literally lay some lay some the road lay some the road to happily ever after is truly available to all of us but it doesn't get laid by someone else does it we lay the road and if we're laying it with a partner then it's collaborative and what you does matter what you what you do matters what he does or she does matters what you do really matters because the more enlightened that the partners are the more happily ever after is a beautiful a beautiful reward a beautiful it's like a guarantee it's going to happen it's just communicating being on the same page learning how to be um, a cooperative collaborator instead of an ego driven or you just put it on automatic a lazy a lazy relationship partner you put more in more intention and and more energy into your business than you do into your home life and into understanding and how about you get it to the point that it's really easy there's small tweaks you you just you know what's going on you know what the answer is you know what the remedy is you can live like that you can live like that and I tell you this because I didn't live like that and now I do live like that and I've lived like that for a super long time and it's so wonderful to be able to help other people get to this level and I keep finding new levels so I will tell you that you can keep paving that road to a greater and greater and higher and higher and higher success with your partner relationship with your home relationship with your family relationship you know with your work relationships if you're leading a business I mean you you can have a culture there that's absolutely stellar you can private message me I am available um, in little bits of time right now but um, we can at least have a conversation and see if there's something that um, that I offer that would be a good fit for you and might help or I would refer you to someone else I really believe that you should reach out you should get help you should be being educated all the time you should be constantly being educated and if you're not being educated on relationships you will get educated on them you just really won't like the way that the education comes in the package that it comes it doesn't have to come in a bad package education can be proactive and it can be lasting and you can truly create the life 